Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for on-site training, contracting, and code reviews. Now, in our most recent episode, I covered how you could explicitly disable the ability to move from const objects. And again, remember I said I did not actually recommend doing this, but it does exist. But I thought that while I was in here, I would go ahead and show you a couple of interesting things where you can actually use equals delete to remove an overload from the set of overloads. So let's just have a simple do something function that takes an integer. And we're not going to actually do anything on this thing. Let's go ahead and make it const while we're at it. And well, we should probably make it const expert. And if you are really um, wanted to be serious about this, it's no except also because it's not has the uh, chance to actually throw any exceptions. So there we've got our fully specified member called do something. And we want to call s2 dot do something. And we're going to pass in an integer value. And this does compile. We have no warnings from the compiler explorer uh, from showing up in the compiler explorer from our compiler. But C++ has a lot of implicit conversions. So if we were to actually pass in 1.0, then we're probably still not going to get any warnings. And we can see here, even though it's a bit small, that we have no warnings from our compiler at all. And that is, again, pretty much what we would expect to happen. However, if we said, you know what, I really, really don't want this being called on a floating point thing, I could hypothetically say I want to delete this function. And having the const x per const no except and all that on here, actually the const we want to add because that's actually part of the type signature. And in C++17, no except is part of the type signature also, but that doesn't really change anything here. What we have is we have a compiler error saying call to deleted member function do something because we're now passing in a double instead of an int. And we could pass in an int instead, and this is going to work the int version is not deleted. Now, if we were to pass in a floating point instead, so we have got 10 point F here, and that is saying a, a float is being called, we get actually still call to deleted member. This is a deleted thing. So this is kind of, let's see if we could pass in a long, long, or some other like 64-bit integer or something. Now, the problem is we get an ambiguous overload because the compiler doesn't know. Are we trying to call the double version or are we trying to call the int version? So I'm throwing this out there as a possibility for how you can delete a function from a set of overloads, and it could have some interesting implications. Let's go ahead and make this a template function and see what effect that has. So now we have a version that can take anything that is of type T and we're getting it to compile again. So we have our T working and that is with a long long and if we pass in an integer that is still working. If we pass in a double now we get our call to deleted member function do something because it is trying to instantiate the double version of it. And let's make this a float again. And the float compiles. So if you had some reason to delete just one very specific overload from an otherwise templated function, then you can do that with the equals delete, that is. So uh, this is just something to be aware of, and you can play with the power of delete in your own code. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.